up mga kamamas at mga kapaps and welcome once again to my channel. So para sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa akin at ngayon lang bumisita sa akin channel, I'm Clifford. I love cooking and baking. I'm a dance and singing enthusiast, an event coordinator, and of course, a teacher in profession. Kaya ngayon, gagawa ako ng tutorial series about Google Classroom para sa ating mga kapwa guro. Ngayon ay kinakaharap natin ng isang pandemya o problema hindi lang ng ating bansa maging ng mundo which is the coronavirus or COVID-19. So within with this situation, hindi tayo pwedeng lumabas. Ika nga ni Queen Fu, bawal lumabas. Kaya nagpanukala ang kagawaran ng edukasyon ng tinatawag na distance learning wherein si teacher at si students ay hindi na kailangan mag-meet face to face. So, kahit nasa bahay sila, magkakaroon ng tinatawag ng, patu- ng pagtuturo or learning no? through the what we call different modes of teaching or yung alternative learning modalities. And isa na nga ron ay paggamit ng internet. One of that is the what we call Google Classroom. Kaya kung gusto mong matuto at malaman kung paano gamitin ang Google Classroom, ipagpatuloy mo lang panunood mo. We are now on the third part of our series tutorial video of Google Classroom. For you to watch the previous part of this series tutorial, just click the links on the description below or just simply click the card or the suggestion on the upper right of this video. In this video, I will be teaching you how to create quiz assignment to your students. In your Google Classroom, Go to Classwork tab, then click the Create button and choose Quiz Assignment. Write the title or name on the quiz assignment and put instructions if necessary. By clicking the Add button below, you can attach files from your Google Drive or on your computer files, and also adding a link and a YouTube video. On the other hand, when you click the Create button, it will give you a different Google application such as Docs, Slides, Sheets, Drawings, and Forms. As you notice below, there is already available blank quiz template. If you don't have a prepared quiz, click this template to create. Then it will proceed to Google Forms. Give a name for your quiz. Before typing your question, choose what type of question will it be. There are three common types of questions. Multiple choice, short answer, and check box. On this tutorial, I will be using the three types of questions. Let's start using the short answer first. First question is asking the complete name of the student. To add another question, just click the plus icon. The second question is the section of the student. I will make this question required in order to the student not to left it blank. Let us now proceed to multiple choice. Let's add sample questions and sample options or choices. At the bottom, you will see the answer key. Click the correct answer on the question and assign points. You can also give feedback in every correct answer and wrong answer. To do that, just click the add feedback. Type any feedback you like by just simply typing sorry a correct answer is option two for the wrong answer and great job for correct answer we can also attach a link or a youtube video let's try one click the youtube icon and search a video you want to attach click the video until automatically added as feedback for every correct answer. To add another question, click again the plus icon and let's choose the checkbox. 
It is a type of question with more than one answer. Let's type sample question and sample options. Click answer key to choose the correct answer and assign points. I can give more than one point for this question. It depends on your questions on how will you give points in this type of question. Note that you need to be consistent in giving your feedback. Let's add another question and but this time we will be adding image as part of the question. Click the image icon to insert image and upload from the local file or Google Drive. You can also add image on your options by simply clicking the image icon. Click answer key to choose the correct answers and assign points. And don't forget to give your answer feedback. When done, just click this settings or the gear icon for quick configuration. On the general settings, check limit to one response in order to make sure that the student will take the assessment once. On quizzes settings, mark immediately after each submission to release it immediately and check the following in order for the respondents to see their missed questions, correct answers, and the points values. Then click save if done. If you want your quiz to be automatically closed so that no one can access it after the said time, you can add extensions named Form Limiter. Just open a new tab on your browser and type Form Limiter. I will also include this link on the description below for this Form Limiter for your easy access. Click Install and it will be downloaded as an extension. On your form, click the three vertical dots on the upper right of the page and click the add-ons or the puzzle-like icon. It will automatically be added on the tabs above. Click the add-ons or the puzzle-like icon displayed and choose form limiter and set limit. Set the date and time. This extension is a huge help in taking quiz beyond the send time. When done, close the Google Forms. At the right side of your quiz assignment, type the corresponding points, assign due date, and take note that the time type here is the end time of the quiz. You can also add a rubric if you want. Then choose Assign, Schedule, or Save Draft. On this tutorial, I will be clicking the Schedule since I already did the Assign on our previous session. Set the date and time and click Schedule to finish. When all of your students turned in, you can now check their quiz. Sad to say, there is no attachment available for quiz assignment for you to check. Instead, you need to go to the quiz file and export the result. To do that, click the class drive folder icon and choose the quiz form. Click the sheet icon to export the result. On the spreadsheet, you will see the list of your student with their scores. Transfer manually the score of the students from the Google Sheets to your Google Classroom. And private comment before returning the result. If the student misses a quiz, you can give zero and return the quiz. The advantage of making quiz in Google Classroom is that the students can see their scores and answer feedback immediately, while teachers 
can get the result of the assessment right after the student submitted their quiz. No more manual checking of the student's quiz one after another. If this video helps you a lot, don't forget to like, share to other people, and of course, subscribe. And for you to be updated for my new videos, just hit the bell button. That's all for now and see you on my next video.